your facial expression. Because remember that many managers will be there in the interview board as well as among the candidates. But they always look for the best manager. They never look for somebody to sit in the chair of a manager. They want to see that if they spend the 10,000 rupees, they get back 1 lakh rupees. If somebody else is there who can give back 1.1 lakh rupees back, they will appoint the other person only. And remember, our look, our thought, our word, our action, this is very important. Anytime, anywhere you go, purity of action, karma shuddhi, that is very, very important. That is what you have to give to others. What you have to have for yourself. Dukkhesh vanudvikna mana, sukhesh vikatas praha. Suppose you are getting a shock, mental shock, you are getting depressed, don't show it outside. Try to digest the shock by yourself. When Dukkha comes, Anudvigna Mana, don't get disturbed, don't get perturbed. Always remember that Dukkha is not permanent. Sukha is also not permanent. Happiness is not permanent. Unhappiness is also not permanent. It will come, it will go. Philosophical way of looking into the pluses and the minuses. Very important in, in Indian approach. Over passion, you may jump into problem. Should not have over passion. Over attachment, avoid it. I don't know how you are taking my words. Over attachment may lead you to trouble. Over fear, it may lead. Over anger, it will also lead you to trouble. Vidarada bhaya krodha, bhaya krodha radha, these three qualifications, bring it down, I will say negative qualities, should not have over attachment, go on doing things as a mission oriented work, if you are sticking somewhere, then it is problem for you, and hatova prapsya disorgam, Jitva va bhukshyate mahim. Jump into any situation. Take that courage. Courage. Do it. Tell your mind. If you are failing, get the satisfaction that you have done your duty. If you are successful, enjoy the fruit of the work. This is a philosophical approach. Hato va rapsyati sorgam. While doing your work devoted way, you may be a failure. We cannot assure that every action of a manager is successful, positive. Sometimes you will get satisfaction. Sometimes you will get satisfaction. Sometimes satisfaction, sometimes satisfaction. So, try to cope up with the situation. So that philosophical approach, it will help you a lot. Swadharma, most important, as a manager, what you have to do it, try to develop that knowledge. When you are a materials manager, A to Z of material management, financial manager, A to Z of financial management, personal manager, A to Z of personal manager. Handle it the situation in such a way that you may have to handle a politician. Handle politician boldly. You may have to handle an IAS fellow. See that you are handling them courageously. This is the Upadesha given by Bhishma to Dharma Putra when he asked the question, how to rule Hastinapura? Handle the situation. So in India, you can see that IT of Upadesha, which are all written in two, two stanzas, lines, that is important. You can remember it always. And wherever you go, tell your mind that 
Nothing is permanent. Tell your mind that you are also not permanent. That's the most important thing some people I have seen. They, they go on saying, sir, I was eligible for the professorship in that university, but some politicians pulled me down. The politician pulled him up. That is why I did not get professorship. So, too much worry about it. Why I am saying? So many alternatives are there. If you are worrying, neither you will work, nor you will get happiness. Push ahead and go ahead. You can see that both happiness and unhappiness will be there in the life. Adjust it. Always remember that if there is a hot sun, then only shade is enjoyable. If there is no hot sun, what is the use of standing under a tree? You will not stand there. Remember that negatives are part of the life. Unless Kamsa would have been there, if Kamsa would not have been there, Lord Krishna would, have, would not have come. If Ravana would not have been there, Sri Rama would not have come. So negatives are required in the life for you and for me. But take it as a challenge and go ahead. India is the country which can guide the whole world. Now you know, last year, the biggest Japanese company who manufactured shoes, it went on strike for 40 days. I repeat that sentence. The biggest shoes manufacturing company of Japan went on strike. How they went on strike, you know? You, may, you might have heard that story. They produced only left hand leg shoe, left leg shoe, not right leg shoe. So they never stopped the production. 40 days, the management could not sell the shoes. 40th day, strike was withdrawn. Production started. Immediately they could sell the shoes. Because they started producing right leg shoes. So nothing destructive should come from us. I only would like to remind you, without extending, if some question is coming from that side, I can answer. Otherwise, from your face, only thing what I can guess at present is that you are not sleeping. What I can guess, you are not looking to the watch. What I can guess, you are not yawning also. Whether you are taking the spirit or not, that I am not getting from your face. So, after this lecture, if you are asking some questions, equal and accept, I think I can tell. If I cannot tell, I will search the literature and tell you. So, India is one of the greatest nations. World over people are looking now to India. And this I am not telling again, I am repeating the statement, not from bookish knowledge. 64% of Americans are now doing yoga charya in all multinational companies. In India, or in the 2% of people are doing yoga charya. They are taking the yoga charya. America is going towards Ayurvedic medicine. America is following Surya Namaskar as the best yoga charya. America is following through many of the Indian concepts of vegetarian food and management. Germany is also following that. And variety of Indian informations. You can see in majority of American cancer hospital, Veda Mantra chanting through the cassettes are played. Veda Mantra, reason is simple. The research carried out in Cleveland University proves that the neuro-linguistic effect of the mantras and give terrible sedative effect, positive effect. The pain that suffered by a cancer patient can be decreased, reduced significantly by the neuro linguistic effect of mantras. They are following that. Bhagavad Gita is becoming the part of the management there. And you can see world over people are, again I repeat the word, looking to India. Indian knowledge is taken with respect by many people. Unfortunately, 
up to 1947, August 14th, midnight, foreigners destroyed our culture. After 1947, August 14th, midnight, we ourselves destroyed our culture. So, both ways, we destroyed our knowledge, the literature knowledge, the scientific knowledge, the technological knowledge, and our acharas, also our concept of God. Now, Indian concept of God as Brahma Chaitanya, just taken by NASA, theoretical physics department, as such, I will use the word by Bridge of Capra, where the ultra modern physics has come to an abrupt end. There starts ancient Indian Upanishadic philosophy. I shall repeat that. Where the ultra modern physics has come to an abrupt end. There starts ancient Indian Upanishadic philosophy. And is the word told by the foreign scientist consultant for 16 universities, Dr. Richard Capra. He is looking now to the Upanishads. Remember that the knowledge accumulated here. We were told for the last 55 years, we are the most useless people in the world. Out of the 239 countries in the world, recognized and non-recognized by UNO. 238 countries, they teach their heritage to the younger generation. This is the only nation in the world which never teaches anything about their heritage to their people. We are the only people ignorant about our heritage. It is time for us, my young brother. Under scientists, group of scientists, we brought out nearly 130 cassettes on these subjects. No copyright for anything. You can take enough copy, give to others, and as individual basis, you can distribute and give the opportunity to every Indian to learn about their motherland. Learning the heritage of your motherland is not my duty alone, your duty too. As long as you are born and brought up and going to die here, it is the duty of every Hindu, every Christian and every Muslim all 102.1 crore people who live in India, their duty to learn it. Take only good things, reject out bad things, you have got the freedom. Blindly you need not follow anything. Vimrashe tada sheshena edhecha sitadha guru. Analyze every bit of that. Use every good thing. Give equal importance that is given to American thoughts. You during your birthday put the cake and light the wax and finally you blow it off with the wind. You pray Tamasoma Jodir Gamaya. But what you do? Jodhirma Tamaso Gamaya. Why you blow it off? Let it burn like that. Pray to whomsoever you want. Mahavishnu, Brahma, Jayaradha, Karunanidhi, whomsoever you want you pray. But don't put it off. Because let that lamp be there. Take the positive what to the extent possible for you. Reject out the negative. I assure you, India can be brought back. Also remember that. Now India is one of the safest country in the world. Last week I was in, in Dubai. And I was coming. Last week I was in Dubai. Previous week I was in Muscat. I was coming from Sohar, one, one beautiful place in Sohar. Midnight, 1.30, our car was passing at 130 kilometers. Suddenly another car came in front of us and dashed and stopped our car. Asked where is your visa? I showed that. Then we asked what made you to look into it. Another car was following you, that is why we got the doubt that you are terrorist. So, they are watching everybody for every three person in Dubai. One CBI is there, one intelligence thing is there. In India, we are safest people. You can go to Rajasthan, you can go to Kashmir, you can go to Bengal. 
Andhra, anywhere. No CBI will be there behind you always. You have got freedom. America says India is the safest country. Now I went to Middle East. All the countries I went in the last, uh, last month trip, they were telling, take only Indians. No Pakistani is given visa. No Bangladeshi is given visa. Only Indians are given visa. No Palestinian is given visa. No Jews are given visa. Indians are given visa. You know, if you go to Jerusalem, Christians are not allowed now there. Muslims are not allowed inside. Hindus are allowed. You go there and show that you are a Hindu, you can go inside. Where Jesus Christ was crucified as well as God is birth. But Muslims and Christians are not allowed because they fight each other. So we have got that glory. Look into India. We don't have much problem. Khalistan problem. Now no more. And almost Kashmir problem is no more. GNLF, Gorkha land liberation problem, not there. Assam problem is not there. Naga terrorist problem is not there. Tribura terrorist problem is not there. Rayalasima, Telangana problem is not there. And in Bengal also so much problem was there, that is not there. In Tamil Nadu, and the Hindi problem was there, it's not there. And you see many places, all the old problem. And World Watch Institute in America predicted that 20% of Indians will die out of famine in 1983. I repeat that sentence. 20% of Indians will die out of the scarcity of food in 1983. World Watch Institute, top most research institute in the world, they said this will happen in India. What happened in 1983 now? Highest food production took place in India. That. So, nobody in the world can predict India. When Jawaharlal Nehru died, many people asked, next to who will be coming? Indira Gandhi came. Then asked, after Indira who? Ajiv Gandhi came. After Ajiv who? Narasimha Rao or Narasimha Rao came. After Narasimha Rao, another person came. So India is a country which you cannot analyze and predict just like that. It can survive. It will survive. It is World Monetary Fund and World Bank put a declaration last week. India never needs loan from hereafter. India can stand of its own. India need not apply for World Bank loan because what India government is going to do? Refunding all the loan taken for the last 20 years and only taking money from the thing. Today's newspaper you can see India can stand in her own leg, her own hand can survive here and remember we are the great children of that motherland. It suffered a lot, 1350 years of foreign attack India suffered and we became free but we do not know what our heritage is. Learn it teach it, understand it, become a proud Indian. This is the only message that I would like to give to my management. Friends, not students, we are not my students. My friends, let our country enjoy you being the children of that country. Janani Janma Bhumishcha Swarga Tavigari Yashi Our mother and motherland greater than the heaven Think that whatever may be the degree that you are acquiring, after all you are Indian, wrong, before all you are Indian, that is the correct thing. Not after all, before all you are Indian. That Indian world and its weight now world over. In New Orleans airport, never in America they have welcomed anybody. New Orleans airport, they wrote a line saying that Indian IT people are welcome here. Only once they have returned. That too for Indian students from IITs and other respectful organizations. So world over people are welcome here. Let you become one or few among the welcomed group by the most developed countries in the world. But remember, even though you are in America, remember about your mother. I express my deep gratitude the head of the department and your professors and also 
all of you.